Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Andrea and I am a full-time Etsy seller. I have been selling on the platform for eight years. And so this YouTube channel is the platform that I use to share all the things I've learned about Etsy and all the things I'm currently learning about Etsy and just being a small business e-commerce seller. So if that's you, I'd love it if you hung out and subscribed. Today, we are going to be talking about how to do Etsy tags and titles. Okay, so before we even talk about how to do them and what to make them and all that sort of stuff, we need to talk about why they are so important. So your titles, and when I say your titles and tags, I mean your title of your listing and the tag words that you can put on your listing whenever you are creating it, which we're gonna dive into more. I'm gonna share my screen and show you how to edit these things. Um, but the reason why are they, they are so important is because they massively impact your SEO on Etsy. So whenever people talk about keywords or keyword research and all those sorts of things, they're talking about the keywords that they use in their titles and their tags um, for Etsy. There is a lot that goes into your Etsy's actual SEO and where your product ranks um, in the Etsy algorithm. Things that are like reviews and shipping price and shipping, uh, shipping time and all those sorts of things. But if you want to target keywords specifically, that is what we're talking about with titles and tags. So they are very, very, very important for a keyword strategy and an overall search ranking strategy. Your titles and tags are extremely important for that. So it works kind of like this. You choose relevant, strong keywords for your item uh, and accurate, accurate, we talk about that all the time, relevant, strong, accurate keywords for your product. You put them in your titles and your tags of your listings and then say, I go to search for what you sell and Etsy puts that, uh, your listing somewhere in that query, that search, uh, like what pops up for that search based on your titles and tags and a bunch of other factors. So obviously that is a super condensed version of what happens, but that is how, how and why, how keyword keyworded listings work as far as the search results, that's how they work and why it's so important. I really, really want to stress that titles and tags are not everything. They cannot fix a bad listing. So if you have a listing that has terrible reviews, people hate it, you're shipping it late. Um, obviously this is like a dramatic version of what I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to get across. Um, or it's not a quality product, it has bad photos, all those sorts of things. Like it cannot make it, your titles and tags cannot fix that listing, um, but they are very, very good for ranking for certain keywords. I hope that you guys are understanding what I'm trying to say here. Um, but don't expect to get to for titles and tags to fix a listing that's awful, but it really will help you rank for certain keywords. And that's really, really good if your keywords are having a large, those keywords have a large search volume and a lot of people are looking for them. So it is not a complete SEO strategy. Titles and tags is not a complete SEO strategy. Every single piece of what you do on Etsy impacts your SEO strategy. It is a very large part of it though. The next thing that we need to talk about is the importance that you use all of the characters and tags available to you. So what I mean by that is that Etsy allows you to make your titles 140 characters long. It is very important that you are getting as close to 140 characters as possible whenever you are writing out your titles. That's obviously a little bit harder because you can't put half a word in your title. So you wanna get as close to 140 characters in your title as possible. And Etsy allows you to put 13 tags on every listing. There is honestly no excuse for not having your tags completely filled out for your listings. It is incredibly important that you have your tags filled out. Um, and there's honestly no excuse for not having them filled out. Um, I couldn't think of anything as not a good excuse. It's not good for your SEO. So if you care about your SEO, you definitely wanna make sure that you are using all 13 tags that Etsy lets you use. 
So now that we've talked about why they are important and that you should be using all of them, every single keyword opportunity available to you in your titles and tags, let's talk about what your titles and tags should be. So obviously I've already hinted at this like a thousand times, your titles and tags should be keyword driven. Uh, every single word in your titles and tags needs to be a search term that someone would search to find exactly what you sell. So um, say you sell a jacket, that is monogram, that's something we sell. Monogram, fleece, zip up jacket would be a keyword, uh, good keyword to have in the title. A bad keyword to have in the title would be the Eloise Collection by Saltwater Prep bad. Do not include collection names or anything that is not something that someone is searching for. No one is searching for on Etsy your uh, the name of your collection because they don't know it exists. They're coming to the Etsy platform to find what you sell. So if you want to rank your product to rank in Etsy search, do not waste valuable, valuable titles and tag spaces on things that people are not searching for. It is a very important that your titles and tags are keyword driven. And then when it comes to those keywords, it's very important that you are using what is called a long tail keyword um, more than what is called short tail keywords. So short tail keywords for the example that I used earlier, if I was selling a monogram jacket, monogram jacket or monogrammed monogram, very short tail keyword, not a good keyword. And the reason why is that that has a lot of competition and also that usually buyers that are searching for that aren't that warm of a buyer, meaning that they're probably not quite ready at the process and the journey to actually purchase. Whenever you use long tail keywords like monogrammed fleece zip up jacket, that is absolutely a long tail keyword. You will have less competition, less listings going up against yours. And also if someone is searching that, they are probably pretty ready to buy. They know exactly what they want. And so it is important that your titles and tags are keyword driven and that those keywords are mostly long tail keywords. As always, when we're talking about keywords, like I said, if you hang out on this channel at all, you know that we talk about keywords a lot. You want to make sure that they are accurate. It is very, very important that they are accurate. It doesn't matter how good a keyword is as far as search volume and competition goes, if it has nothing to do with your item because that person will not buy anyway. So you definitely wanna make sure that your keywords in your titles and tags are extremely accurate. The last tip I wanna talk about before we jump into my screen and I show you how to actually do this, the last thing I wanna talk about is that I make my titles and tags match exactly. There is um, strategy there. I want to double down on the keywords that I think are best for my item. So rather than making my title something and then filling in the tags for keywords that I have not uh, targeted yet, that I have not used yet, I make my title with all of my best keywords, I match my tags exactly to that title, and then I fill in the remaining tags with any more keywords. Very rarely can I, um, does my all of my title keywords take up all my tags, but I do make my titles and tags match exactly, and the theory there, or the strategy there, not a theory, the full-blown strategy there is that I am doubling down on all those keywords, so I want to rank very highly for the keywords that are most likely to drive in um, or attract buyers that will actually purchase my listing. So I make my titles and tags match exactly. Okay, so with all of that being said, let's jump into my screen and see how all of this plays out on a real listing and show you guys where to add your titles and tags. Okay, hello friends. I am in my listing backend. If you are selling on Etsy, you're very familiar with this. If you're not, make sure to check out my Etsy listing for beginners. Uh, YouTube video, I'm not gonna go in depth with this whole screen here, but we're just gonna talk about titles and tags. So when you're listing an item, you go down to listing details for the title, and this is where you type in your title that is keyword focused, like we talked about in the video. Obviously, I got really lucky on this particular listing because zero letters left is very not common. So I got lucky that it all fit in there and I was able to use literally every single character. I just wanna point out that I am putting my best keywords first and my most descriptive keywords first to make that easier on my customer. And then another thing that I'm doing to make it easier on my customer is using this little um, line to separate out each keyword so it's easier to read. When I am done filling out my title, I scroll down to my tags section. Obviously, it's not gonna let me type any more in because all 13 are already used. And again, I am matching these as closely as I can to my title. Uh, you might see some differences 
The reason why is because the tag section only lets you type in a 20 character tag. And so I have to like kind of make it work. And I recommend that you do that as well. Um, one thing to note is that the way that you do it is you type in here and then hit return or enter to insert the tagged and make sure that they are all spelled right. So very simple to insert tags and titles into your listings and yeah. Okay, so hopefully that wraps up all of your questions about titles and tags. Like I said, they are massively important for your keyword research, your SEO strategy, but they are not a complete SEO strategy. So that's the only thing I wanted to mention before we finish up this video. If you are looking to grow on Etsy, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed. That is what we talk about around here. It's my favorite thing to talk about. So please do subscribe and make sure to check out my free Etsy masterclass where I talk about my three-step framework for growing on Etsy. So that will be in the description below. And thank you so much for watching.